Some television shows last for decades before getting a celebrated and well-rounded finale. But other times they get cut short because of cancellation and never get to finish telling their stories. These cliffhanger endings can leave audiences frustrated for years after, and in some cases, fans never get over them. Here are some of the craziest cliffhanger endings in television history. This list will contain some spoilers, so stay sharp if you're halfway through your favorite show. Make sure to subscribe to Screen Rant and ring the notification bell to be the first to know about all of our awesome new content. Wait! Wait! Don't leave me! ALF may not be the kind of show that you'd expect on a list like this, but the ending of the series was just too up in the air and ridiculous to leave off. The show about an alien navigating life on Earth that ends super abruptly with said alien getting captured and taken away by the alien task force, with no further resolution whatsoever, is just too much to bear. And there's no way that this is how the creators intended things to shake down. A few years later, they attempted a resolution through a TV movie, but things were just not the same. V was given two chances to work as a television show, and neither were given the ending that they deserved. Its second season finale opened the show up to an entire world of new possibilities, none of which would ever get the chance to be explored. This drama about an alien occupation built up its story to a dramatic peak, and ended just as it was setting up its third season to be an extremely dramatic humans versus aliens war, but would never make it to air. The first four seasons of Southland all had pretty big cliffhangers, but the difference about season 5 is that it would be the show's last. The final season was filled with huge revelations, and its final shot left fans screaming. First, Sammy finally found out about Ben's dark side, and secondly, John Cooper loses it and starts beating up his neighbors when they refuse to turn off their loud generator. The cops show up and shoot Cooper, and the final image of the show is him bleeding on the ground. Off the Map only lasted one season, and its finale makes it pretty clear that there is no way the creators of the show intended for it to go down that way. It's the definition of a cliffhanger, with the character of Lily discovering Mateo after having been shot, lying on the ground bleeding out. She tries to quell the wound as his family's cocaine fields burn to the ground in the distance, not exactly wrapping anything up, and leaving everyone wondering what on earth would happen next. Chasing Life was set up to be a show about a woman's triumph over the adversity of a devastating cancer diagnosis and, based on its title, her determination to fight it. But the show would receive a very untimely ending, and the feeling would be echoed with its heroine. The second season ended with April leaving her family to go to Rome and finally confronting the idea that she might actually die. And then, the show ended. Talk about poetic symbolism, even if it wasn't intended to go that way. The Whispers was a very interesting and high-concept sci-fi show led by the awesomely talented Lily Rabe, but would unfortunately never find the audience it needed to stay on the air. At the end of its first season, just when we find out what drill the aliens that have been using children to complete their mystery mission have actually been up to, it ended. It also saw Rabe's character Claire making a huge sacrifice for her son, and the resolution of which fans would never get. The family's series finale aired only a few days after it was announced that the show would not be continuing on, and once the episode aired, it became clear the creators had definitely not planned on it ending that soon. With not only two huge and sudden deaths, but also the crazy reveal of the identity of one of the killers to not only be the killer, but to be alive when he was supposed to be dead, left fans with more questions than answers. No Tomorrow was not intended to be an ironically on-the-nose title for the show it was, and yet when the CW show was cancelled after only 13 episodes, it became a self-fulfilling prophecy. The sweet and strange romantic comedy about a girl who plays it safe and a man who knows it's the end of the world opened a ton of doors it would never have the chance to close. And for a show that was really different than the usual CW fare, it really was a shame. Flash Forward started out as a strong show to fill the space where Lost had left off, but it would never get the chance to finish its own story. The creators of the show claimed that there were five seasons all mapped out and ready to go, but after one, the show was pulled. Because it was cancelled after they had finished their season one finale, the amount of unanswered questions have led the episode to be known as possibly the worst series finale of all time. Okay, hit it! <laughs> Lois and Clark was an almost soap opera-esque retelling of the Superman story, and boy did its series finale leave viewers on the edge. 
While it lasted four seasons, it was cancelled after the season 4 finale, which ended with a mystery baby being dropped off at the home of Lois and Clark by a time-traveling H.G. Wells. While there was a note claiming the baby belonged to them, there was clearly more explanation needed, which would never come. It did feel like an appropriately dramatic end, if not a comfortable one. The arrangement was not a simple love story, though at its core, that is what it was. Cults and Hollywood politics aside, it centered around Kyle and Megan's tumultuous relationship, and the ending was the complete opposite of a fairy tale, or even a solid separation. The season 2 finale, which would turn out to be the series finale, ends with Megan revealing to Kyle that she had cheated on him, and the two of them about to go to war against each other. The comedy My Name is Earl, about a man trying to use karma in order to turn his life around, had a cliffhanger ending that is almost too overt that it seems like maybe it was even on purpose. After four seasons, the plug was pulled by the network, and the series finale ends with a to-be-continued title card. Only, it never would continue. If that doesn't seem like the most unsatisfying ending ever, imagine if the same had been true for Back to the Future. The ending of the original series Heroes left fans of the show completely in the lurch, with a sudden reveal to the public about Claire's supernatural ability to heal, and then no further information. There was no shortage of loose ends from this finale. What changes now that the public knows? What about Peter? Or Hero? Where Heroes Reborn could have answered those questions, they chose to go in another direction. So, fans will never know what happened to their favorite characters. The bizarre but almost appropriate ending to the show Hannibal is one of those cases that might have actually been intended that way. While it was quite the literal cliffhanger, with Hannibal and Will flinging themselves off a cliff like a gender-reversed Thelma and Louise, it didn't exactly wrap up the story in a way that would have pleased fans. But instead of being left with no time to finish the story, this seemed like a purposeful choice of the show's genius creator Brian Fuller. The League of Rays, or the Ravengers. Name's still under discussion. The Rays of Hope. Please stop saying that. Bored to Death was not a huge, crowd-pleasing spectacle or gentle, family-friendly sitcom destined to last for six seasons in a movie, but rather an extremely weird indie comedy with an all-star cast and an extremely uncomfortable twist ending. As soon as Jason Schwartzman's Jonathan realizes who his real father is, and consequently that he's been sleeping with his half-sister played by Isla Fisher, the show ended. Pretty sure fans had some questions about how that situation was going to resolve itself. While Deadwood producer David Milch claims Deadwood really was supposed to end exactly as it did, the fans are far more skeptical than that, especially given the very incomplete nature of the last episode. With Hearst shot by Trixie and Al, Bullock, and Star having tricked him into killing an innocent woman disguised as Trixie in revenge, there were just too many loose ends for anyone to believe that this was the intended series finale, because it really isn't an ending at all. You'd think that a show titled The Event would get around to the actual event that it was named after, and yet, with the abrupt ending, it never truly would. While the final twist was revealed to be aliens who had brought the virus to Earth, the show seemed to end right as it was really beginning, with the alien planet's arrival into our orbit. What followed would definitely have unkinked some of the messier story elements and might have awarded fans with a huge payoff, but sadly, we will never know. Pushing Daisies was a one-of-a-kind show, with an uncanny mixture of creep and sweetness shared only by other short-lived favorites like Dead Like Me. Daisies left fans with Ned and Chuck waiting in anticipation on the ant's doorstep to reveal that Chuck was in fact alive. While they were given an epilogue, there were still a ton of questions that fans were left to answer themselves, and a weird and colorful hole where their favorite show had been. Well, personally, I kind of want to slay the dragon. Anyone familiar with Joss Whedon knows that he loves a good surprise ending, and is never afraid to wait until the last second to kill your favorite character and ruin the rest of your afternoon. While the ending of Angel feels like classic Whedon, it also feels unsatisfying. The show went through some huge managerial changes in its last two seasons, and the difference was felt by fans, leading to low viewership and its ultimate cancellation. The final scene left everyone wondering what happened to their heroes and the rest of the world. Timeless was a quirky time travel show that quickly garnered a solid and dedicated fan base, and when it was cancelled at the end of its second season, it didn't even get a chance to wrap things up. With Rufus shot and killed, and Wyatt and Lucy facing alternate versions of themselves, fans were left high and dry with only each other for comfort. There is a possible movie in the works, and while they're not always a safe bet, it might go the Firefly route and be enough to lay the show to rest. It's new and totally bonkers third season aside, the untimely ending of Twin Peaks was brutal for the fans and creators alike. 
The absolutely insane cliffhanger on which it ends left everyone angry and confused, with Cooper trapped in the Black Lodge and Audrey's fate hanging in the balance. The final shot, including the now infamous line, How's Annie, is still intensely disturbing and remains David Lynch's last stand. While the ending of Firefly wasn't technically a huge cliffhanger and did get to tie up its story in its movie Serenity, the show was so beloved and had so much potential that fans everywhere are still not over its cancellation. The story of Mal and his crew of space cowboys was never given a fair shot by the networks, was poorly promoted, and Fox even ran its episodes out of order, and the plug was pulled before the crew had even finished shooting their final episode. Freaks and Geeks has become such a cultural phenomenon and launched the careers of such an impressive bunch of actors and filmmakers that it's hard to believe it wasn't a huge smash when it aired. But its ratings were so low when it came out that NBC pulled it before its first season even finished. The show ends with Lindsay ditching Academia to hop in a van and follow the Grateful Dead around with her friends, which may be a great summer for her, but left fans unsatisfied and full of questions. No, I don't know that song, thank God but I can guarantee it sucks. And those are TV shows cut tragically short before their time. What did you think of this list? Are we missing your favorite show and its cliffhanger ending? Or did any of these shows deserve what they got? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to the minute with the latest from Screen Rant. Thanks for watching.